Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. We're excited to be here with you guys tonight. Yes, we are. If everybody will please like and subscribe if you want to hear more about Sam's journey growing up and leaving polygamy. Um, please like and subscribe and also leave comments. Leave your questions um, not only about tonight where we're going to be talking about him, um, his reasons for leaving and how he did, but also any other videos that you want to see. We yeah. want to hear what kind of videos you want us to make, what yes, kind please. of videos, what yeah. uh, questions you want answered. So yeah. please leave comments, like, and subscribe, and we'll get right into it. But one of the most common questions that we get and that he gets specifically is how he left and what his reasons were and kind of what his thoughts were. So I guess one of the main questions is when did you start thinking about leaving? Like how old were you? What were your first thoughts mm -hmm. on, hey, maybe this isn't the right religion? Or did you start thinking about it religion-wise? Or was it more of like a lifestyle thing? I would say some of both. Some of both. And the reason why is because as a, as a boy growing up, uh, I was 18 years old when I really started. Well, I was almost 18 and 18 when I really started thinking about uh, these type of questions. So... Uh, first of all, I had, you know, religiously, there were questions that I had had just about, you know, is this the, is this for sure the truth? And the reason I had those questions is because it's the only thing I had known. And I had been taught my whole life that it was the truth and the only truth for that matter. But, but obviously as you get older, you start having these kinds of questions. And also, as far as the, the lifestyle, we, as, as I got a little bit older, we started working a lot outside of the community. We would do construction jobs with uh, my, me and my brothers. We would go out and do a lot of construction. And on these construction sites and jobs, we would meet uh, people that were not members of the FLDS religion. And when we were, you know, when we'd meet these people, I would start realizing, man, there's a lot of good people out here, a lot of good people and happy people. And the reason that was so shocking to me is because we were taught growing up that the only happy people and the only people that were truly doing what is right and following God are those that were members of the FLDS religion. So, so you know, coming out and, and meeting these people and seeing that, man, these guys are actually happy. They're living good lives. That was very shocking uh, just because of the way that I was raised and what I, what I had been taught. So... So that was definitely one of the main things that start got me to start thinking about, you know, what else what else does this world have to offer? Like how is this possible? Yeah, how could yeah. this how are these yeah. people happy? How, how is this possible? And I in a, in a way I felt lied to. Uh, mm -hmm. Just because, you know, it, I suddenly realized that they that we weren't the only happy people out there. Mm, gotcha. So that was a big part of it, and then uh, that just led one thing to another. But uh, but really, the day that I moved out, I had no intention to. Mm. I had no intention of, of moving out that day. We had uh, gone to work, and uh, we were working in St. George, Utah. And at the end of the day, we decided, you know what? What? Why go back? <laughs> <laughs> this is such a typical, like, 18-year-old boy thing, right? Like, why don't you tell him, babe, how, how prepared would an 18-year-old uh, boy be when they're like, you know what, let's just, life-altering event, let's leave our families, everything we know. Mm -hmm. Like, how much money did you have? Well. Ready for a life-altering event? Like, yes. how prepared were you? Uh, I had about enough for one dinner, I would say. <laughs> So, did I did I have a good plan? Did I think through it? Absolutely not. And uh, I have a, a, a so when when I was at work in St. George, I was with a brother. I was actually with a couple brothers. Some of them went back, and and me and this other brother and one of the friends that was with us, we decided uh, we were the crazy ones that decided. You know what? You know what? Rebels. Remember yeah. from before our last video? Rebels. <laughs> We, we just, I don't know why, but we had this idea that right then would be the right time to, to, to not go back home. And, and, uh, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was crazy and not very well thought out, but we, we decided that it was time. And so we, we decided to not go home that night. 
And of course, our parents being very worried and wondering where, where their sons were, they were, you know, trying to reach us, trying to call us, trying to text us. And so, you know, at first, I, we text back just to let them know that we were okay. But we didn't know how to say, hey, we don't want to come back. So after I felt like, that we felt like they were, that they knew we were okay, we basically just shut off our phones. And, you know, because what do you do? I mean, what, how do you tell your parent that, hey, even though I know that because of my choice, I'm never really going to be able to be with you again, it's still, it's still what I feel is the right thing to do. Like, how do you, how do you do that? You know, it's hard. So I just, I just turn my phone off and figure, well, we'll figure this out tomorrow. <laughs> Great plan, right? Yeah. So, uh, of course, in the morning, uh, we were, uh, you know, called back and and tried to explain the best, uh, the best we could on on what our reason was and and why we felt like we needed to move out. And I, st I was on the phone, I would say, for hours with my mother, just trying to explain to her. And, of course, nothing really made sense to her. And, and all she could do is just plead and say, come on, you, you know this is the truth. You know this is the only truth. Uh, we taught you this. How could you possibly uh, leave at this point? And uh, it, so it was, it was very difficult. It was very <laughs> difficult to, to sit there and have to have that conversation with her. And, and she said, where are you? where are you? And I said, jokingly, and it wasn't a joke though. I was actually in my car parked next to a cemetery. And I said, Oh, I'm, I'm hanging out in a cemetery. <laughs> and she says, she, well, she thought I was crazy, but then she said, I'm coming to get you. And I jokingly said, Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Come to, come find me. You got this. Uh, I, I was just trying to make light of things. I was 18 years old and I didn't know how to handle it. Honestly, I didn't know what to say. All I could do is pretend to be happy. And, and, uh, so I actually, uh, just a quick little side note, I actually talk to her, uh, very rarely do I get to talk to her, but every once in a while I'll call and she'll actually answer and we have a very brief conversation. And what she told me, just this was just a couple months ago, is one of her biggest regrets in life is that she didn't come and get me when I jokingly said, I'm by a cemetery and come get me, you know? And so, it, yeah. It makes my mom a heart break. Like, obviously, I understand why you had to, and I'm grateful you did, or else, like, our life together wouldn't be possible. Mm -hmm. But for all of us mamas out there, a little piece of, I feel for her yeah. mama heart. Feel yeah. for the mama heart. Yeah, and, and I wish, I really wish there would have been a way to, to, to move out without having to crush her heart, you know? But... It's 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 one of those decisions that I really felt that I had to I had to make uh, just because it was I'd reached a point where I had to know for myself I had to go out and learn for myself and 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 find out if what I had been taught was true or not it was I felt that I would I, I had been placed in such a small bubble that that I there was so much to life that I didn't know. And, and the first night when we moved out, or that night when we moved out, we stayed on some couches of a family that we met doing a remodel job in construction. And it was actually this family that really, really stood out to me. Uh, when, when I met them, I was like, man, these are, these are some really good, happy people. Um, how, how is this possible, being that I was taught that no one out, no one out here could be happy? Uh, so anyway, so it was we got to know this family a little bit better um, And so when we moved out that night my brother and I and one of our friends stayed on their couch <laughs> Yeah, so um, and then uh, I to this day still remain very close to this family uh, So they gave, they gave us a lot helped us get on our feet and point us in the right direction But it was it was not it was not easy at first. We had no money my brother and I uh, we we and, and our friend would travel wherever we could possibly go to find work and all we knew how to do was construction so that's what we did we searched out for construction and wherever wherever we could we we would go find some work and and try to make a little bit of money we didn't have anything uh, it was it was whew, it was brutal there were moments where i thought Man, maybe i should just go back it would it'd be so much easier <laughs> it would be so much easier to just go back and be with my family they would be happy i wouldn't have to be living almost on the street sometimes 
So uh, that was that was just something that I had to push through, and uh, and thank goodness to the good families and good friends that I met along the way, I was able to to pull through it and uh, and make it. So yeah, that is the story of why he chose to leave and how he was able to do it. And yeah, if you guys want to hear more about his story about growing up in polygamy and leaving it and a little bit of our story afterward as well. Please like and subscribe. And again, comment any questions that you any have. Any questions. I know, um, I know you may have questions that come from what I just said. So feel free to expand yeah. expand on this and, and we would love to or answer Or other questions, questions too. If you have questions that aren't related at all to this video, that's fine yep. too. Other yep. videos that you want us to, <laughs> to make, um, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you and yep. we'll talk to you guys again soon. We'll talk to you soon. Thank <laughs>